Hello, and welcome to another episode of Monster Sanctuary. When we last left off, we were right before uh, what I'm assuming is another boss fight versus the Alchemist, which I am not looking forward to because I always suck at these the first time I try anyway. Um, but I think we're probably going to get destroyed, but I'll try. There you are, Keeper. I knew you'd get up here eventually. That's right. I've been watching you wander around the sun piles from up here. It took you long enough. All your efforts are worthless. You are too late to prevent the shifting. We know who you are, Alchemist. What are you doing to the son of the sun palace? So you have a spectral familiar. I don't care if you're a spectral keeper. You're all... You're a keeper all the same. You don't even know how much we despise your order, do, do you? To answer your pet's question, I have induced a pro process within the sun that is called shifting. Behold the power of Zosimos of the ancient order of Alchemus. The sun. What did you do to it? I told you that your efforts were worthless. The sun has shifted and the entirety of the sanctuary will soon succumb to darkness. But maybe I can rob you of one of your monsters as well. I challenge you to a duel keeper. We have to accept this challenge. It might be the only way to save the sanctuary. Okay. Um, looks like he has things weak to air, fire, and magic. So, we will do air. Oh, they're both gonna do grass. Okay, that's quite annoying. It's like all my creatures are weak to grass. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna try and get rid of the guy weak to fire first and foremost. This guy. I want him dead as soon as possible, if at all possible. Oh yeah, since I'm on first, I don't care. Okay, that's quite annoying. Safe cast up, uh, more fiery shots. And I'm gonna hope to kill this guy with him. Come on, kill him. Yes! Very nice. Okay, as a this. Very annoying. This monster's attack in like a different order, I just noticed. And there's lots of uh, attacks. Alright, uh, we're gonna shield up. I don't know why you swap the guy in the middle, but I don't really need to. I don't know. Let's see, uh. Let me quickly throw, uh, full utility on this guy. And then, I can do, uh. Who do I wanna kill? I sort of wanna kill this guy. Let me just quickly burn him. And I'll throw some more full utility at yeah. one, uh, probably my middle guy. Man, he has so much armor break at this point. I just don't have anything weak to me right at this second, otherwise I would just kill him. Uh, let's shield again. Throw some full utility at one himself. And then have Mike kill the last guy. Fine if he dies, if I'm honest, it gives me a free switch and he's uh, had his use uh, at this point. Okay, that's nothing I'm not worried about him anyway. Alright, now, uh, what is he weak to? I'm gonna do this. I'm going to. Oh, we are weak to win. Uh, I'm gonna do full offense. Because I need him dead. Otherwise, I would. Uh, I need this guy dead, otherwise I would, um, do something else, but unfortunately he needs to die now. He keeps, uh, weak, uh, putting armor break on my guys, otherwise I wouldn't bother. That's fine. It's quite annoying. What can we do? If I could quit it with a thunderstorm, that'd be great. 
All right, uh, who else do I have? We'll do this. There goes my shielding, which is quite annoying. Mike can shield himself, so that's not what I'm worried about. But... All right, please kill. Come on, bleed. Yes, okay. He only has the fish left, which I don't even remember what the fish does. All right, uh, snail next. I know I'm leaving that guy to last, but he doesn't really worry me, per se. Fish is annoying. Dexterity is annoying. Uh, buffs are annoying in general, I mean. Alright, acid. Oh, he also has acid. I wish now that I would have killed him first. Uh... So... He's weak to I, I'm going to use, uh, Blessing. So I can put some crits up. Uh, he's weak to win, so we're gonna kill the fish, I guess. Next. Man, no crits. Uh, we'll finish. Come on, kill the fish. Alright, next turn we can kill the fish, which means we only have two characters. We should be good. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep pounding away from him. Uh, it's fine. Mike is fine. We still have a character left if we still need him. Alright, come on, crits. Uh... Bye. Alright, this should kill. Then we're gonna try and kill that snail. Or... What do I want to kill? I could go for the snail, but I think I'm gonna go for this guy, actually. Because I wanna... Uh, burn him. I know I'm spreading out damage, but burns are nice to have. Okay, that's fine. That's the Tempest again, that's fine. It's annoying a little bit. A little bit. Uh, and then... I just, I just try to kill this guy. Though he's not very good at magic. Uh, air sickle. There's no point in that guy. We win. For once, I didn't <laughs> get destroyed. Because I actually have a decent, half decent team. Uh, and then we can just finish him off with uh, this crit maybe. But I don't know why I did that one over the other one. Oh well. Fine, just slash it. Yeah, we did it. Nice job, team. I actually have a half decent team at this point. You have defeated me. You deserve my respect for that keeper. You may have the this monster back that I took from that other keeper who challenged me, but still it does nothing to stop the shifting. Farewell, keeper. Perhaps we will see each other again. The sun has still changed. What do we do now? It is as I had feared. The shifting cannot be stopped. What ha will happen now? The sun as well as the entire sun palace will turn dark. That is only the beginning. All the monsters that live in the wilds of the entire sanctuary will be affected by this cataclysm. Their nature will shift towards the darkness. They will become more aggressive and more dangerous. The sanctuary as we know it may change forever. What's that? Your koi just moved towards us. Koi, despite everything, I feel glad that you are in for koi, but it seems that you have shifted towards the darkness too. Never mind, I am sure that you were forced to shift. You are still the same friend to me as you always were, Koi. Hmm? Where are you going, Koi? He's moving towards the sun? Why? Koi. What? The sun has returned to its normal state. But what happened to your Koi? I fear that my Koi has sacrificed itself for us. For the entire sanctuary. What? Haha! <laughs> I, I don't know, it's probably supposed to be sad, but... Fish go into sun. Sun turn good. Okie dokie. Fish save life. Good. Me not understand. Me confused. Me wonder how fish turns sun not black, not purple. Perhaps it was his act of selflessness that returned the sun to its original state. But I can tell you that the sun is still shifted in a way. It's neither dark nor light, but I can still feel a difference. I might still encounter some shifted monsters across the sanctuary, but if my assumption is correct, Koi's sacrifice has returned the sun to a balanced state. 
that means you might encounter some dark shifted monsters, but also, but, but also there could be light shifted monsters sometimes. Interesting. Also, there's egg. Something came out of the sun. It's two eggs of the same kind. It's a miracle. The circle of life has begun again. They, these eggs are koi eggs. You should take one of them. You deserve it. I got a koi egg. Nice. You also want to, uh, I also want to give you another reward. You see there's another way to shift a monster. This shift stone can be used to either light shift or dark shift a monster. Mm. Use it as you will. As we have seen today, even a dark shifted monster can be good if you treat it with love and respect. Either way, a shifted monster becomes more powerful only in different ways depending if you light shift or dark shift. These shift stones are very rare, but you might find some more of them across the sanctuary. Again, I thank you for your help. You saved the sanctuary from a great cataclysm. Farewell, Spectral Keeper. Interest. We received a sanctuary token from the alchemist. I remember that there was an oracle in the west of Snowy Peaks. Maybe she knows what these are for? Uh, I don't know how to get there, though, because I didn't exactly get, like, super crazy jumps or anything. Uh, I'm curious how rare the, um, shifted monsters are. Also, I still don't know what to do here. Uh, do I have, like, wind monster? Mm -hmm. monster encounters. I'm still missing monsters here. I still want to grab, like, a snake and, and some of the other monsters here. But... Oh, I didn't even know there was a chest there. Oh, he has another koi. Uh, speaking of which, let's uh, crack over this koi egg. Grab ourselves a koi. Um, I wonder what Koi does. Oh, does it help with swimming? That could be. Uh, page two. Yeah, okay, so Koi allows us to swim. So that means that we can now go, like, a bunch of different places, can't we? But first of all, I'm definitely going back down to the water area. And, uh, going to... Okay, wait a minute. Where... I jumped off, and there was, like, a treasure chest somewhere. Where did I jump off? Uh, I can't remember. There was like a switch area. It's... No, it was over. It was down a little. That's right. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, I jumped from here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I got a skill push. Nice. Uh, we're gonna go jump down into the water area because now I can swim. There is a bunch of stuff I can do. Not a bunch of stuff, but there's a bunch of chests all over. That should again. That I should be able to interact with. Now that I can swim. And they, man, imagine, wouldn't you be like stuck if you decided to trade that egg in? Maybe the game won't let you. Maybe if you go up to the guy and he's like, no, no, this egg's too rare. I can't take it. That would be make sense because otherwise you'd be stuck without the coin. Alright, sweet. No, I think it's... Oh. Of course, I have to actually use the coin. Okay. What is this thing doing? Okay. I stopped there for a second, so I'm gonna resume that. Not... Okay, I think that's where I need it. Uh, I need to go back around quickly. Nope. Oh, come on. Alright, let's shoot this again. Okay, come on, fish. Let's see, so I go this way. Then I go around. Go up this way. I could have made it if I would have known where I was supposed to go. Switch stone. Ooh. And increase monsters level. Should I try switching one of my monsters? That's a good question. Uh, let me go to inventory. Should I do that? Should I turn Mike into a lighter dark? He is my strongest, in my opinion. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, can we not do it? Oh, maybe these don't have light or dark variations. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh. Okay, maybe it has to be light in the first place in order to get, or light or dark in the first place in order to uh, do that. That might be okay. So maybe if I find a light monster and I want it dark, I can turn it uh, from light to dark. It currently doesn't seem to work. Uh, but for now, I think we're gonna end it here. Uh, I'll probably use a shard and travel back to the sanctuary uh, after the next episode. But we beat the alchemist. We didn't get our butts handed to us, which is pretty nice. For a change, we usually get destroyed. Uh, we've learned about dark and light monsters. Uh, a fish turned the sun from purple back into yellow. So, hooray for fish. I, 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 I don't understand how or why, but sure, and I'm here for it. Good job, fish. You'll be remembered forever. Um, anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode when we will continue our journey. Uh, where we go, I have no idea. But there's a bunch of chests around and stuff, I know. Uh, and also, I want to go back and see if I can find maybe some light and dark monsters. Who knows? I don't know the difference, what they do, but they're apparently stronger. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.